Hey everybody, it's Luke over Galaxy Tech Review and I had a subscriber that wanted me to test out the Acer Aspire 575 G Series laptop with that 940MX NVIDIA chip uh, with some older games, uh, Mass Effect uh, and Mass Effect 2 I have up today. Uh, and I didn't have any problems playing these games whatsoever. Uh, you might, as no, might notice a little bit of graininess on the original Mass Effect here because it has that grain effect. As you'll see here, I have motion blur and grain effect on. It is set to 1280 by 720. It wouldn't let me set it to uh, 1080p uh, because it is an older title. So I did set it to 720p and everything is on high. So it's the high preset with everything, uh, including vertical sync on. Uh, at this point, uh, vertical sync is fine because the monitor is 60 hertz. And I had an average of that locked 60 frames per second the entire time that I was playing. Uh, so on older titles, you can use V-Sync and you don't really have to worry about it. Uh, and it works out very, very well on Mass Effect, as you'll see here. Uh, again, any graininess that you might see could be uh, some of the uh, grain effect, the film grain effect and motion blur that I do have on in the game. Now, when we do Mass Effect 2 here later in the video, you're going to see that I have uh, none of those options on. It's going to look a little bit different. Um, but when you're actually playing it, uh, it's locked into the, the hertz of your monitor with uh, V-Sync and does a great solid 60 frames a second all the way through. Mass Effect, the first one, is totally playable. So I'll let you guys check this out, and then I'll be back for the Mass Effect 2. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Targets down.
up, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Beacons at the far end of this trench. So as you can see, everything plays excellent. I had no problems at all with Mass Effect, the original, uh, and the settings again here. Uh, we'll take a look at them real quick. Our uh, 720p, high preset, everything on, motion blur, vertical sync, and film grain. No problems at all playing Mass Effect 1. Okay, so now we have Mass Effect 2. I do not have Mass Effect 3 installed, so we're going to have to stop with this one, but... Uh, this one also did very, very well in my testing on the 575G uh, uh, Acer Aspire laptop here with the 940MX. Uh, I had this set to 1080p. Uh, I did put VSync on again, uh, and it did lock in at 60 frames per second. I was getting really nice uh, frame rates there. Uh, and didn't have any problems whatsoever. We'll take a look here as, uh, at the options menu. Uh, and, and as you look at it, you'll see uh, 1080p full screen and then uh, bloom shadows, uh, environment shadows and film grain are all off. Uh, they add some to it, but I left them off and I was still getting a locked in nice solid 60 frames a second. And you could probably add some of those uh, extra options in and still get great uh, gameplay. Uh, you do notice uh, that it stops here for a second and that's just because I switched out to see if my counter was working. Uh, and unfortunately my counter wasn't working on this video, uh, but I was getting a solid 60 frames a second. It would dip to maybe 58 uh, and then bounce right back up to 60, 61. So uh, overall a great uh, job by Mass Effect 2 as well. Being an older title, you can of course have that V-Sync on and you won't have to worry about uh, dipping below 60 frames per second at all. So that's awesome. Uh, and I didn't have any problems at all with this title either. So hopefully that answers most of your questions. I'll let you guys check out some of the gameplay. Hostiles detected. Damn it! Think 
Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. It's your station, Jake. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Ready to get the hell off this station? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best to check. You... Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Systems active. one that doesn't lead straight into an enemy squad. Just keep moving toward the control room. Don't get pinned down. I'll see what I can do. Oh, God. They found me. Help. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry. They're out of control. Oh, God. Physical reconstruction of subject is complete. Got me in the leg! We need to get off this station. I'm not going anywhere until someone fixes my leg. Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Thanks, Shepard. <clears throat> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Huh? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few... We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. Impact. Mexico, when to quit!
That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, do you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Should I recognize that name? Mm hmm. Maybe that's a side effect of your recovery. You and Cerberus certainly have a history. According to the Alliance, we're a radical pro-human splinter group. You wiped out several of our research bases. But things change. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. So Mass Effect 2 played very well in that 1080p uh, preset there with all the little extras turned off. Uh, you can probably turn a few of those on, but with this V-Sync on, again, locked in at that 60 frames per second, I had no problems playing either Mass Effect 1 or 2 uh, through Steam uh, on this Acer Aspire uh, 575G. 57D4 uh, with that 940MX NVIDIA chip. If you want to see any other games, uh, please leave comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.